happened is I'm going to pray. I'm going to make a Bible confession. And then we're going to get into the word of the Lord for this morning. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Father God, we honor you today. And I thank you for this time. I thank you, Lord God, as I continue to die to myself, that the spirit of the living God will rise up in me and say those things that need to be said. Father, I thank you that my mouth is online with the truth of your word, and that you will bring back to remembrance, my remembrance, every testimony, every scripture that's going to make this word plain and simple to us today. Father, we acknowledge you and the very power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. And we say, Holy Spirit, thank you for being in this place. Thank you for being in our lives. Holy Spirit, truly you know what's on the heart and mind of God. And you know what every person have need of, whether they're watching on uh, social media or they're in this sanctuary. You know what they have need of today. Holy Spirit, I ask you to think through me, speak through me, meet the need of all of God's people through me this very day. Lord, I think it is a very compassionate nature Jesus flows out of my heart and through my lips and that the lives of your people will never be the same. Thank you for confirming your word with signs, wonders, and miracles to follow and that you will make the word so simple that even the children will be able to apply it in their life. Father, we honor you today and we thank you. Hallelujah. And give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Y'all, the Lord is good and he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Let us make our Bible confession, and uh, we're going to say it like we mean it. Glory to God. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. The Bible is the Word of God. The Bible is the Word of God. I believe this Word. I believe this Word. I love this Word. I love this Word. Today, Today I will be taught, I will be taught the, word of God. the Word of God. My mind is alert. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. My heart is receptive. I'm a hearer. I'm a hearer. And a doer. And a doer. And my life, and my life will never be the same. Will never be the same. Because of the Word today. Because of the Word today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. And y'all, how many of you know your life will never ever be the same? Amen. <laughs> and it's not because of anything that I'm able to do. Glory to God. It is because the Word of God is alive. Amen. The Word of God works. Come on now. Amen. And we just got to do our part. Amen. And that is work this Word. And when I say work the Word, I mean just take the Word of God and that you believe. And then begin to apply it to your life. That's what working this word means. It's not like that we can do anything of ourselves by ourselves. Amen. Amen. Our responsibility and our part is just simply to believe God's word. Amen. And as we believe God's word and, uh, and do what the word of God says, then we are setting ourselves up or we're putting ourselves in a position so that God can do all that he wants to do through us, for us, and to us in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Turn in your Bible to Habakkuk chapter 2. Amen. Habakkuk chapter 2 is where we will start. And uh, I have been, glory to God, this week uh, at camp meeting. And uh, most of you know that my spiritual father is Dr. Leroy Thompson. And so I've been on this week at camp meeting and we have been learning the direction or, or learning uh, what God wants to do in the earth. Amen. And so I am just so full. Glory to God. And so while I was at home, I was trying to determine by the Holy Spirit how to dissect all of the word that I've heard these last five days and make it in a, in a form or a way that we all could be able to apply it in our life and we could know the direction that God is going and the things that we need to do. Amen. Glory to God. And so as I was, uh, you know, as I was at home preparing, y'all know, uh, I, I, uh, at, at home getting ready, amen, glory to God, I, uh, I couldn't find the right outfit for today, amen, glory to God. And so if you was going through the house, it's just stuff everywhere, 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 amen. Glory to God. And then when I got in the truck, the vehicle, it looks like I got behind every, the slowest vehicle there was on the road trying to get here. Amen. But how I many you know God is still good? He's still good and he's worthy to be brave. And so I let the peace of God, amen, glory to God, direct me and lead me because I understand that it's not about me. Glory to God. But it's simply about God allowing or God releasing his glory in the earth. Now, what I need for you to do so we can all be on the same page, and remember, we're trying to dissect this word and put it in 
chunk so that we will be able to understand. When I say the word glory, I'm going to give us a simple working definition for the word glory so that we can understand what God is doing. Glory as defined in the context of this lesson, and as we begin to understand more, glory is defined as all that God is, all that God has, and all that God can do. So whenever you see that word glory, or when you're reading through the scriptures, or, or when you're thinking about glory, and when we, we sing this song, the glory of the Lord, I want you to think about all that God is, oh my God, all that God has, and all that God can do is a, representor, a representation of the glory of God. I'm going to say it again. Because we got to be all on the same page. The glory of God for the, a working definition so that we can all uh, uh, jump off into this lesson is all that God has, all that God is, all that God has, and all that God can do. And how many of you know God can do a lot of stuff, amen? Glory to God. And the doing part is uh, us allowing the glory, all that God has, all that God, uh, all that God is, all that God has to manifest or show itself strong where in our lives, amen? Give the Lord a hand, clap of praise. Come on. Glory to God. Now look at this, Habakkuk chapter 2 and uh, verse 14 will be our foundation text. And I want us to understand, I have a working definition of that word glory. All that God is, all that God has, all that God can do is our definition, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, of the glory of God, amen, hallelujah. Now, I'm back in chapter 2, and I'm on my way, and if you beat me there, just hold on, because this is where we're going to start. And how many of you know God is worthy to be praised, and he's worthy to receive all of this glory and all of this honor. He is able to do, Lord, help me today, exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask of, all that we think God is able to do it, amen? Yeah. And so I'm trying to just keep myself settled, amen, glory to God, because I feel so good and I'm so excited about what God wants to do in the earth. Glory to God. And hallelujah. Hold on. I'm coming. Amen. Looks like all of you beat me there. But I'm on my way. Habakkuk uh, chapter 2. And uh, we're going to be at verse 14. Glory to God. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse number uh, 14. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, there it is. Amen. And if you got a Bible like mine, it's on page 1143. Glory to God. Now look at this. This is going to bless you because it's blessing me. Habakkuk chapter 2 and it begins to say at verse 14. Glory to God. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge, come on now, of the glory of the Lord just like all of the waters cover the sea. Now when we think about glory, Amen. And we think about our working definition. The glory is defined as all that God is, all that God has, and all that God can what? Do. And so the earth will be filled with the knowledge of all that God is, all that God has, and all that God can do. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on, that glory to God. And so there's coming a time or a season that the earth is going to be filled with the knowledge of God's glory. And so in order for it to be filled with the knowledge of God's glory, we got to understand and then learn how to manifest or how to demonstrate or how to allow the glory of God to be demonstrated well in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. Now look at this. This is going to bless you because it's blessing me. Go to Matthew chapter 15. 
Matthew chapter 15. And so, Lord, I said, now, you, you know, I need a place to stop. I, I need a place to jump. I need a place to start. I need a place, amen, to help us to understand what does this mean. And, you know, we've been talking about vision and we've been talking about purpose. And, and how many you know, all of that as we are lining up. We cannot let our vision and our purpose be outside the will of God for our life. And so as we align all these things up, our vision, our purpose, make sure that we have the vision and the purpose that God desires for our life. Amen. Glory to God. We're setting ourselves up for a demonstration of the glory of the Lord. In other words, when I say a demonstration, we're setting ourselves up, amen, so that the world will be able to see all that what God can do. I mean, you know that the glory is all that God is, all that God has, come on now, and all that God can do. Amen. Glory to God. So don't you think that, come on now, don't you listen, don't you think so small, amen, glory to God, amen, and don't you think in a position where you can do it on your own. God does not want that. He wants all that he can do to be what? Magnified or shown where in your life, amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand up a praise. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm excited about God. Amen. Now look at this. I said, but Lord, we need a place. We need a place to start. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 15 is our place where we're going to start. Amen. Glory to God. As we are aligning our life, as we are aligning our purpose, as we are aligning ourselves up. Amen. Glory to God. So that his demonstration, so that the demonstration of all that God can do, amen, can be shown well in our lives. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 15. And uh, I'm on my way, and if you beat me there, that's okay. Glory to God. Look at verse number 16. All that God has, all that God is, and all that God can do. Amen. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 5, no, chapter 5, I'm sorry. Matthew chapter 5, and look at verse 16. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All that God has, all that he can do, all that he is. Glory to God. Matthew chapter 5, and look at verse 16. He says, let your light so shine before men that they may what? See. They got to see some stuff. Amen. They got to see some stuff that they may see your what? Good works and do what? Glorify God. Let your life be so shine that men may what? See. How many of you know the world needs to see some stuff? The world needs a sign. They're going to have to see some things being demonstrated well in our life. Come on now. So that God can be what? Glorified. Come on now. All that God can do has to be shown where in our life, hallelujah, in, in this scripture, in the form of what? Good work. So that men can what? Glorify God. Glory to God. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. So if we had to take a place where we could start or allow ourselves, amen, glory to God, to begin to uh, understand what God wants to do in our life and begin to understand how we can demonstrate the glory of God in our life, we can start simply by doing some what? Some good works, amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. How I many you know it's okay to be good? It's okay to do good. It's okay. Come on now. Even in this generation that we're living in, to let good works shine. Hallelujah. Why? Because those good works that are shining in our life are going to bring what? Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Now listen at this. This is going to bless you because it's blessing me. It says, Matthew chapter 5, it says, uh, go back up to four, uh, verse 14. It says, ye are the light of the world. A city that's set on high, on a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick and give it light unto all that are in the house. So he's saying, let your good work shine and bring light. Come on now. So people can see what the glory of God. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. So we got to get in this mindset and understand that it's okay to do good. Come on now. It's okay to do the right thing. Come on now. It's okay to be good. Why? Because that goodness that's flowing out of your life and through you is going to cause other people to see all that God can do. 
today. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a head clap of praise. Y'all, I'm excited about God. Amen. Glory to God. Look at this. This is so good to me. He's saying, you are the light of the world. If anybody's going to be able to see, or if anybody or any unbeliever is going to be able to see the good, the light, or how good God is, they're going to have to see it through us. Come on now. Because sinners are not out there trying to do good stuff for God. Come on now. Get the Lord a hand clap of praise. We got to be that light that show the glory of God by our good works. And how many of you know that this is a time of darkness? Come on now. Where the light needs to what? It needs to shine. Hallelujah. And I can remember my grandmother, she used to sing this song. And it used to just bless my heart. Amen. This little what? Light of mine. I'm going to let it what? Shine. Let it what? Shine. Let it what? Shine. Let it what? Shine. Amen. And when we're doing this, y'all, glory to God, we're releasing all that God can do in the lives of people, in the lives of our situation, in the lives of our problems, in the lives, come on now, glory to God, in the lives of people so that God would know, so that people would know that God is what? He's real, amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I'm excited about this, amen. Glory to God. Now listen to this. Go to Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, and I want us to, to keep that working definition. <laughs> Amen. Glory is all that God is, all that God has, and all that God can do. And one of the ways that we can exemplify or let others see his glory, amen, glory to God, is through our what? Our good works. Because now we're positioning, our, uh, positioning ourselves so that he can be glorified in all that we do. Now, listen at this. Here's the flip side to this. We got to make sure that we don't let our good work so we do our good work, amen, so that they are known unto man. And that's why we always have to check motive and intent of our heart. See, when we're out there doing good work, amen, our purpose for doing these good work has to be so that God can be what? Glorified, amen. It can't be so that somebody can call my name, somebody can recognize me, somebody can say a good job. Come on now, glory to God. It has simply to be so that God can be glorified in what we do. Glory to God. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on now. You know, sometimes people want to do good stuff and they want everybody, amen, to call their name. Glory to God. Amen. How many know you got your glory? Come on now. And you got that glory that came from man. And listen, I don't want the glory that comes from man. I want the glory, hallelujah, that comes well from God. Amen. Glory to God. And so we have to be careful that we're not doing that we're not doing our good work so that we can be seen before man. Because that puts the glory well on man and it subtracts and takes away from the glory that comes from God. Amen. Or the glory of God. Amen. Glory to God. How I many know God is a jealous God? Come on now. He's jealous. Come on. And he's not going to let man continue to take what? His glory. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Y'all are excited. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now look at this. Ephesians chapter 2. And uh, look at verse 10. Ephesians chapter 2. And uh, look at verse 10. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You moving, hallelujah, and working in this place, hallelujah. And every time we think about glory, we're going to think about God, all that God can do, all that God has, and all that God is. How many of you know when we start thinking about all that God is, we need to reflect on the fact that God is what? Love. God is what? Peace. God is what? Joy. God is what? Long-suffering. God is what? Truth. God is what? Happiness. Come on now. All that God is, and the earth is going to be filled with the knowledge of all that God is. All of his love, all of his joy, all of his peace, all of his happiness. Come on now. All of his long-suffering, all of his tempers, amen. The earth is going to be filled with the knowledge of all that God is, all that God has, and all that God can do, amen. Y'all are excited about this, amen. Glory to God. Now look at this, Ephesians chapter 2. And uh, look at verse 10. Ephesians chapter 2. And look at verse 10. Listen at this. It says, For we are his workmanship, 
created in Christ Jesus unto what? Good works. So we have been created, hallelujah, to perform what? Good works. Why? Because these good works do what? They bring glory to God. In other words, there's a demonstration of all that God can what? He can do. Amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Glory to God. It says, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had beforehand ordained that we should walk what? In them. And so God has purpose, church, for all of us. Amen. To walk in good works. Why? Because these good works glorify God. And we have to understand that God desires for all of the earth to be filled with what? With his glory. All of the world to be filled with what? All that he can do. All of the earth to be filled of the knowledge of who God is and what he has and what he can do. And the only way that he can do it is he's going to have to use what? Us. Amen. Glory to God. How I many you know that we are co-laborers with God. It's our responsibility to work with God so that he can do all that he wants to do in this earth. That's why, listen to this, when we begin to talk about purpose and we begin to talk about vision, we begin to, to, uh, 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 to uh, focus in and understand that we need to get the will of God and the purpose of God for our life so that we can do what God wants us to do. It's not about us doing what we want to do. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of prayer. Because it was about us doing what we want to do. Amen. Glory to God. How many of you know we wouldn't be doing the will of God? Come on now. How many of you know that our desire, because this is this, but a man uh, 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 without God has a selfish nature. Come on. Man without God has a selfish nature. And so if it was about us doing what we want to do, everything that we do would be to fulfill some selfish desire or some selfish nature that we have. Amen. Glory to God. And so as we are focusing in on our purpose and as we're focusing in on our vision, as we're focusing in on the will of God, we understand that it's so very important that we do what he wants us to do. Why? Because God wants to fill the earth. Glory to God. With all that he is, all that he has, and all that he can do. Amen. Glory to God. Now look at this. This is going to bless you because it's blessing me. Go to Titus chapter 3. And we're focusing in on these good works. Glory to God. Because we understand that our good works because the motive and the intent of our heart is to glorify God. Our good works are going to be a demonstration of all that God can do. Come on now, glory to God. And so, if the Lord is talking to you about doing something good or, or doing something that's beneficial to others, amen, glory to God, then listen, don't, don't think that you got to do it alone. He is putting you in a position so that he can receive the glory and that he can show everyone all that God that he can do. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is going to bless you because it's blessing me. Titus chapter 3. And uh, look at verse 8. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Titus chapter 3. And uh, look at verse 8. And if you beat me there, that's all right. I'm on my way. Glory to God. Listen to this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hmm. Listen to this. It says, verse 8. This is a faithful saying. And these things I will that thou affirm constantly. That they which have believed in God might be what? Careful to maintain what? Good works. Because these things are good and profitable unto men. He says, this is a faithful saying. And these things I will that thou affirm constantly. Amen. And y'all, and there's a reason why he wants us to constantly confirm some things. Or to do some things constantly. Because he wants the earth to be filled with all that he can do. Glory to God. And so we're not in this thing by ourselves. We're in this thing understanding that God wants to demonstrate his what? His glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen at this. This is so good to me. Glory to God. He says that. He says, now, this is a faithful saying. And these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in God 
they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works because these things are good and profitable unto all men. Now I want you to highlight this. I don't want us to get it confused. It says that those that what? Believe in God. So who is he talking to here? He's not talking to the unbelievers. And you have to understand that God always does a work in the believer first, or he does a work in his body first, or he does a work in the church first. Amen, glory to God. So that then uh, 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 others may be able to see. Come on now. He said, now this is, I want you to understand that I'm writing to, and I'm talking to those that believe in God. And so we cannot expect the world, those that are outside of God, amen, to understand the power of doing good, or the power of good works, or the power of doing the right thing, amen. I mean, you know, they ain't capable of understanding, amen, glory to God, the power in doing what is right, or the power in doing what is good, amen, glory to God. And so he's saying, this is a faithful saying, and these things I will that I affirm constantly that they which believe in God might be careful to maintain, amen. Good work. Listen, as a body of Christ, as a body of believers, amen, as those that love God, we just got to do the right thing, amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. We got to do right, glory to God. Why? Because there's a purpose in this. The purpose is so that God can be glorified, so that he can get all of the glory out of our lives, and there can be a demonstration of all that God can do. Listen, this is the time of the season where, you know, the world is calling what's wrong, right? Come on now. And what's right and wrong? Come on now. And so as believers, we got to lift up that standard, amen, so that, listen, that there's those that are in darkness will know how to get to the light. Glory to God. Get a lot of hands. Let me pray. They got to know how to get to the light. Come on now. Hallelujah. Y'all, this is so good to me. Glory to God. Now, look at this. This is going to bless you. Go to Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. And uh, I want you to understand when Habakkuk, uh, uh, go to Exodus chapter 20, then just sit right there for a minute. I'm sorry, Exodus chapter 2 and uh, verse uh, 20. Let me get to the right spot. No, I was right. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. When you get that, I just want you to sit there for a minute. Amen. Exodus chapter 2 and verse 20. And so you have to understand when the prophet Habakkuk was waiting on some instructions from the Lord. Amen. How many you know that the nation of Israel was in a bad state? Come on now. The, 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 the God's chosen people, amen, they were in a bad position. And uh, God was uh, about to allow uh, uh, some things to happen in their life to refocus them. Come on now. He was uh, going to allow some things to happen to refocus them. And so Habakkuk was sitting there and he said, well, but Lord, uh, you won't let all this bad stuff happen and we get swallowed up in it. Come on now. And then uh, the Lord told him, he said, now write the vision. He said, I want you to make it plain. He said, I want you to write it in a form where others can read it and, and so that they may see and they may get to running. He said, because the vision is for an appointed time. He said, but it's not going to tear it. He said, it's going to surely come. So people need to know, amen, glory to God, what God is going to do. Amen. And so when he wrote that and he began to, uh, uh, to beseech the Lord about all the things that were happening and uh, all the signs of the time and all the, uh, 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 the evil that was out there. Amen. Glory to God. God then told her back. He said, now listen. He said, I, the earth has got to be filled with my glory. The earth has got to be filled with my glory. All that I am, all that I have, and all that I can do. He said, out of all this stuff that's happening, and this is the word of the Lord, out of all this stuff that's happening, you got to understand that the earth must be filled with what? God's glory. All that he is, all that he has, and all that he can do. Amen. Glory to God. And so when um, the Lord brought the children of Israel out, amen, out of Egyptian bondage, how many of you know, amen, glory to God, they were in Egyptian bondage for 400 years. Come on now. In other words, they were slaves over there in, in Egypt and under the Pharaoh for 400 years, four generations, I mean 400 years, amen. And so when he brought them out, y'all remember the story that he delivered them by the mighty hand of Moses, come on now, which was the glory of God being demonstrated what? Through Moses. And that was all that God could do. How I mean, you know God parted the Red Sea, come on now, and the children of Israel walked across the Red Sea on what? Dry ground, amen, glory to God. That was a demonstration of what? The glory of God. 
And so as he brought them out of the Red Sea, amen, he took them and he led them to a place, amen, so they could come together and then he could, could begin to give them his instructions, amen. He said, I need to give you some instructions so that I can continue to manifest myself through you, amen, because he cannot demonstrate or he cannot manifest himself if we don't look like him. Glory to God. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on now. Who's going somewhere with this, amen? And so God needs to throw his glory through a people, amen, that look like him or demonstrate uh, who he is, amen, glory to God. And so what he did was he took Moses to the mountain, amen, and when he came back, when Moses came back uh, uh, down the mountain, he had what we know as what? The Ten Commandments. How many know that's the moral law? In other words, that's the good stuff that every believer ought to be doing, amen. Get a lot of hands out of praise. Come on. Glory to God. Why? Why? Because God wanted to tell you to demonstrate himself what? Through the people. Amen. He wanted to continue to demonstrate himself. Hallelujah. Through people. He wanted all that he could do to be manifested. Come on now. In the lives of the children of Israel. And so in order for them to do that. Amen. Glory to God. There had to be some standards. Come on now. Of good works. Of doing the right thing. Amen. Get along and hang up a praise. Come on. Glory to God. It's all right. It's tight, but guess what is right, amen? And so he came up with what we know now as the Ten Commandments, amen? It is a moral standard of just doing right, church. Glory to God. And the purpose of this, amen, is so that he can continue to demonstrate through his people, amen, all that he could do. How many of you know God can't demonstrate, amen, if we're not doing right? Come on. Glory to God. And so whether it's the Old Testament or New Testament, amen, glory to God, there is a code of righteous living or a code of doing right that every believer ought to be following, amen, glory to God. Now look at this, in uh, Exodus chapter 2, I'm sorry, Exodus chapter 20, amen, glory to God. And uh, look at verse 2, it should be right in there, amen. Am I in the right place? Glory to God, hallelujah. Because we're going to read these here commandments, Amen. Hallelujah. Not, listen to this. Let me help you here. Not that you can do them on your own. Come on now. But listen to me. You have to understand that uh, uh, when God gives us something to do, glory to God, his yoke is not what? It's not hard. His burden is not what? Heavy. What he asks us to do is not grievous. Come on now. And so we got the Holy Ghost, amen, or the anointed that can destroy every yoke and remove every burden to help us to be able to do what we know to do. That's right. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on now. Glory to God. As the body of Christ, as body of believers, we just got to do the right thing. Amen. Glory to God. Exodus chapter 20. Am I in the right place? Hallelujah. Look at verse 2. If, if y'all beat me there, amen. Glory to God. It's okay. I'm coming. I'm just excited. Excited about all that God can do and all that He has, and, Amen. And how He wants to position us, glory to God, so He can flow. Come on now, God wants to move in our lives, Amen. There needs to be a demonstration of His glory, and the only people that He can use is those that believe in Him. And so He's positioning us, y'all. He is placing us in a position so that all that he has, all that he is, and all that he can do can manifest, can show itself. Why? Hallelujah. Because God wants, amen, glory to God, the earth to be filled with who he is. Glory to God. Now, I'm trying to get there. And uh, if, you, if you beat me there, that's okay. Amen. I'm coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your word. Glory to God. Now, look at this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Listen at this. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which I have brought, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods put before me. Don't put anything else before God. Amen. Don't put anything else in your life before him. Amen. Your relationship with God through his son Jesus should be the first priority well, in your life. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Don't put anything else before God. Come on now. Hallelujah. And guess what? That's not hard. Come on now. 
It does sound hard to do, amen? Give ear to what? God's word. Give priority to what? The things of God. Give priority, come on now, to what God wants to do in your life. Don't put anything else, what? Before God. He said, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Glory to God. Then he goes on to say, he says, now, he, say, he says, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven or above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water on the earth. Thou shalt not uh, thou shalt not bow down thyself uh, uh, to serve any other thing. Glory to God uh, uh, besides him. Amen. Glory to God. Listen at this. Hallelujah. Listen at this. Go down to um, um, uh, I don't want to read all this. Help me, Holy Ghost. Let me get to where uh, ever I need to where I need to go. Listen at this. Go to for, uh, verse fourteen. Listen at this. There's a whole lot of reading in between that, but we're trying to get to the ten. Amen. Glory to God. He says, "Now thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not. Come on now. Thou shalt not. And listen, as a believer in the body of Christ, and someone that believes in God, Amen." Adultery should be far away from us. Come on now. All of us that believe in what God is saying and what God is doing and how God wants to demonstrate in our life. He said, thou shalt not. Glory to God. Then he goes on to say, this is good. He said, thou shalt not steal. Uh oh, come on now. This shouldn't be named among us. Those of us, amen, that are trying to position ourselves so that God can demonstrate in our life all that he can do, amen? And once you begin to understand the word of the Lord, listen to this. If you ask God, guess what? He'll give it to you, amen? Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on now. Hallelujah. He'll give it to you. Come on. Glory to God. And so we don't have to take on the stealing spirit. We don't have to take on a, a three-breath attitude. Amen. How do you know a glory to God? How many of y'all know what a booster is? Amen. How do you know it's about to be booster season? Amen. Come on now. School clothes got to be bought. Amen. And so there are people who have positioned themselves as boosters. Amen. Come on now. And they'll get you whatever you need. How many of you know it should not be named among us? Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, now, thou shalt not steal. He said, now, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. <laughs> Amen. Come on now. God said we need to love our neighbors as we love what? I say. Amen. So let's not talk crazy about folk. Amen. Why? Because we want the glory of God to be demonstrated in our life. We want all that God can do. Come on now. To be demonstrated what in our life. So let's not talk crazy about folks. Let's not lie on people. Amen. Let's not bear false witness. Amen. How many of you know that tongue is a powerful thing? And we need to all what tame it and not lie or bear false witness what against our neighbors. Amen. Glory to God. Why? Because we want the glory of the Lord. Come on. We want it to manifest. We want all that God can do to show up what in our lives. Amen. Glory to God. Then he goes on to say, he said, thou shalt not uh, uh, bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, his maidservant, or anything, glory to God, that thy neighbor has. He said, don't walk in covetousness. Amen. In other words, let me help you a big old word for jealousy. Don't be jealous. Come on now. Because what God has done for what? Others, he can do what? He can do for you, amen? Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Why? That's a demonstration of all that what he can do. Yeah. And so we don't have to worry about it, amen? If we can really rejoice when others rejoice, if we understand that it's not about us trying to do anything, but it's about God allowing his glory, come on now, all that he is, all that he has, and all that he can do what? To flow in our lives, amen? Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on. So let's get all this junk out of us. Why? Because we want God to manifest his what? His glory. Amen. Glory to God. He said you don't have to be jealous of a person's relationship, of a person's marriage, of a person's house, of a person's car, of a person's clothes, of anything that anybody else has. Amen. Why? Because God can do it for you. Amen. As a matter of fact, he wants to do it for you. Amen. He the Lord and hang out for praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. He said, don't be covetous. He said, don't walk in that. Amen. He said, now listen to this. 
Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, or his ass, or anything that thy neighbors have. And all the people, when they saw, when they heard, uh, 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 when Moses began to, uh, when all these things were declared, all the people saw the thunders and the lightnings and the noise uh, uh, of the trumpet and the mountains. Listen at this. Smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed themselves afar off. That was a manifestation of the glory. Amen. And so we have to understand glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. That that's another manifestation of the glory of God. Hallelujah. That in itself was God demonstrating all that he is. Glory to God. I mean, know that the Lord is a strong tower. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Glory to God. Now listen to this. This is so good. This is blessing me. Amen. So I know that it's got to be blessing you. Go to Haggai. Amen. Chapter 2. Haggai chapter 2, amen. Glory to God. Listen to this, this compilation in verse 8. Amen. Because we got to understand that God wants to do it through us. And if we allow all that God is, all that God has, and all that God wants to do, if we allow that demonstration in our lives, then he'll be glorified. And God glorifies us through his what? His good works. Or we give God glory through what? Our good works. Come on now. Our good works that we ought to be focusing on. And so in order for him to shine or to be able to move through us, y'all, we listen to this. We got to do our best. Cause how many know we need grace? Hallelujah. It's by grace that we're saved. But we got to have a heart and a mindset to do simply do that, which is right. Come on now. In other words, we got to be different. Glory to God. First Peter 2 and 9 says that we should be a peculiar people. Amen. We should be looking a little bit different than the world. Amen. Because right now the world is calling that which is right wrong, and that which is wrong what? Right. And so for order for them to see, glory to God, the manifestation of the glory of God, then we got to make sure that to the best of our ability, amen, those things that we just got to looking at, they're not named in us. Come on now, glory to God. And listen, uh, you know, the Lord will search us, amen? And the scripture says, search us, O oh Lord, and, and, and if you find anything in me that's not right, he, you just have to give the Lord permission to get it out, amen? I mean, you know, I give the Lord permission, glory to God. Anything in me, any wicked way, amen, I give the Lord permission, why? To get it out, why? Because I want all that God is, all that God has, and all that God can do to what? Manifest in me or through me so that all men can know that God is what? He's real. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now listen to this. This is going to bless you. Hallelujah. This is going to bless you because it blessed me. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 8. Amen. See, we don't have to worry about, amen, glory to God, material things. Amen. We don't have to worry about those things. If God, if we allow God to manifest himself, amen, his glory to us, then all that he has will manifest what? Through us. Amen. All that he can do will manifest what? Through us. All that he is will manifest what? Through us. Amen. And so our focus should be God manifest your glory what? In my life. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. That should be our focus. Amen. Manifest, Lord. Demonstrate with my life your what? Glory. Come on now. Now listen, this, this is going to bless you because this is going to make you just want to run around the room. Amen. Glory to God. Haggai chapter 2 and uh, 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 verse 8. Listen at this. I'm going to start reading at verse 7 because this is Haggai the prophet. Amen. And he again was prophesying the word of the Lord. He says in verse uh, 7, he says, I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill the house with what? The glory. I'm going to shake what? All nations. Listen. Two words for nations. Nations uh, could, could possibly be uh, mean all the countries that you see. But nations are also, amen, glory to God, can define as people. Amen. We are just, we are, as people can define, be defined as nations. And the word of the Lord said he's going to shake what? All nations. He's going to shake what? All people. He says, now listen to this. This is going to bless you. Glory to God. He says, now, he says, and the desire of all nations shall come. 
and I will fill this house with what? The glory of the Lord of hosts. He said, now listen at this. He said, the silver is mine. The gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. And the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, said the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, said what? The Lord of hosts. Now listen at this. The silver is what? The Lord's. The glory is what? I mean, the, the silver is what? The Lord. The gold is what? The Lord. If you desire some material possessions, listen to me, they all belong to the Lord. And he said he will fill this house with his glory, which includes all of his provision. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. So you don't have to worry about provision. You don't have to worry about material things. You don't have to worry if the Lord wants to do it in you and through you. Amen. All you have to do is just allow the manifestation of what? The glory of God. And as his glory, all that he is, all that he has, all that he can do begins to manifest in our lives. Come on now. Glory to God. Then every desire that you have, every need that you have, everything that you uh, 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 hope for, guess what? It'll be fulfilled in what? The manifestation of God's glory. Amen. You don't know the hands up for praise. Come on now. Glory to God. Now remember this. Hallelujah. Go to, uh, back to uh, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 and uh, verse 14. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 14. Amen. And we're going to close on this note. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Listen at this. <clears throat> 2 and 14. It says, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. That's all God wants to do. He wants everybody to see him. He wants everybody to know him. He wants everybody to see all that he is, all that he has, and all that he can do. And guess what he's got to use? He's got to use you and I, or you and me. Amen. Hallelujah. I know all that word bless you because it bless me. Give the Lord a heck of a praise. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Now listen to this. Every eye closed, every head bowed, I'm going to pray. Father God, we honor you today and we thank you for the time. We thank you for this word. We thank you that you would take this word and seal it in our heart and that our life has been made the better because we heard the word. Give us the strength to walk it out according to your promises. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Our hearts and minds clear. Everybody all right. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah.